Here in the heart of Cologne, the history of beer and brewing has been written for 700 years. The cathedral and Gaffelkirch, two historic landmarks. Where earlier the brewery Zum Leisten stood, today the private brewery Gaffel brews its Kirsch according to an age-old recipe. Kirsch is completely natural. The Rhinelander's favorite drink is made from four ingredients. Hops. Water. Barley malt. And top fermented yeast. Nothing else. Hops. Without them, you would not develop a taste for Gaffelkirsch. The hops vines grow up to seven meters tall in southern German fields between Nuremberg and Lake Constance. Harvest time is the end of August. Only the unfertilized female umbels are used. Water. Its minerals and hardness influence the individual character of a beer. For Gaffelkirsch, only the brewery's special water is used. A unique composition. There are many sorts of brewing barley in Europe. Guffel barley grows in the Cologne Basin, one of the warmest regions in Germany. For barley to become a good ingredient for Kirsch, it first has to be transformed into malt. Malt is grain that has been germinated in a special controlled way. Last of all, the magician among the raw materials, the top fermented yeast. Without its metabolism, there would be no fermentation, and that has a decisive influence on a top fermented Kirsch. An die vier Rohstoffe Wasser, Hefe, Hopfen und Malz stellen wir höchste Qualitätsanforderungen. Unser Wasser beziehen wir aus unserem hauseigenen Brunnen, der circa 50 Meter unter der Brauerei liegt. Wir fördern das Wasser dann in die Brauerei und verwenden das Wasser zum Brauen. Once all the raw materials have been examined and are ready for use, the brewing of Kirsch can begin, using the traditional recipe and the most modern technology, for this is the only way to guarantee the highest quality. To the present day, the brewers stick to the purity requirement of the year 1516 and the Kirsch Agreement of 1986. The barley on its way to use in production. After one or two days under water, the grain begins to germinate. After about one week and many inspections, the result is called green malt and only has to dry to arrive in time at the brewery as the best malt for brewing. Now the grain has formed important enzymes. They are necessary for breaking down starch and albumin when brewing kirsch. The maltose, a double sugar, forms the main component of the beer wort. The sweet brewing malt is the heart of every kirsch beer. About 17 kilograms are needed for 100 liters. For it to become soluble, it has to be crushed in the crushing mill. After that, the crushing malt is mixed with water and heated up. This is called mashing in specialist jargon. What is mixed together here comes out golden yellow in the end. Anything that wants to go to heaven has to be purified. Things are not any different for Guffel Kirsch. The solid components of the mash are separated from the liquid components in the purification vat. What remains, for one thing, is the wort, so to speak, the basis of Kirsch. And for another, the grain residue, called draff, a valuable byproduct that can be used as animal feed. When making Kirsch, you see, nothing is wasted. Back to original Kirsch. Each step in the production process relies on careful control to ensure quality. At this step in production, the brewer carefully inspects the original wort. Now things have already become clear. The wort runs into the mash pan, where it is heated up together with hops.
the beer is boiled and concentrated. The hops give Kirsch its typical delicately bitter taste, ensure stability of the froth, and act as a preservative for the beer. Once the wort is cooled and clarified, it is ready to have yeast added. With top fermented yeast, fermentation in the large stainless steel vats takes three days at a temperature of 16 to 20 degrees Celsius. During this period, the yeast converts about 40% of the original wort into alcohol. And so, beer's own carbonic acid arises. Without it, Kirsch would not have any nice, firm froth. During fermentation, the yeast rises to the top and forms a thick carpet of froth. You can almost already taste the Kirsch, or at least smell it. During this process, too, the brewer repeatedly takes samples to test and ensure the quality of the young Kirsch. At this stage, the Kirsch is almost ready. It must be carefully checked several times whether the beer has finished fermentation to determine the ideal point of time for storage. For after fermentation, Kirsch has to mature in these enormous stainless steel tanks. The process lasts two to three weeks at a temperature of zero to one degree Celsius. The beer settles down and the remaining yeast cells and tannins sink to the bottom. Finally, Gaffer Kirsch is passed through a filter once more. And there it is, finally. A delicately bitter, tasty, cool, premium Kirsch with a crystal clear color. Perfect for filling into vats or bottles. Modern filling and refrigeration technologies guarantee a first-class product of uniform quality. Then, off it goes. To restaurants, to you at the bar, or at home. Guffet. Very Kush.